Okay, let's go over this uh, problem and troubleshoot them, a uh, pick line related problems. The first, and I can say probably the most common one, you will receive a call from the nurse saying, I cannot draw blood from the catheter. And there is two options here. Either the catheter is not in the vein or it's clotted. Whenever you face this problem that they cannot draw blood from the catheter, I usually tell them do not give any medications through this catheter until we make sure it's functioning functioning and it's in good position. This one, usually we know that the catheter is in position, so if it's in good position and secured, we should not suspect this. Um, and so look for any recent chest x-ray when was the most recent chest x-ray something was done today same day or before the, the day prior to that and um, and the vein is the pick line is secured according to the nurse then we should start thinking about this if any doubt about the positioning please go ahead and do chest x-ray and make sure it's in good position if this is not an issue then we come that the catheter most likely is a clotted that as we said if the catheter is here you will have a clot inside the catheter itself how do we manage this usually we use thrombolytics and don't panic yes we use the same thrombolytics that we use in some in, 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 in strokes or stimmies but this is localized to the catheter and it's usually very small dose and it has really no systemic effects it doesn't reach the systemic effect so if you get called about this usually um, you tell the nurse hey go ahead or actually the nurses will tell you hey can I use for example cat flow cat flow is the brand name for alteplase it's also there is a TPA so it's usually two milligram they go and infuse it directly here and the, I think keep it there, try to keep it in the catheter for half an hour to two hours and reassess. If it's most likely it's successful in dissolving the clots and you will get a blood return. If not, you can give a second dose, uh, try to dissolve the clots. Most likely this will solve the problem. If not, then you have to think is there a stenosis or something else. And if that's not successful, probably need to replace the catheter so after trying cat flow twice if it's not functioning usually we go and replace the catheter how about venous thrombosis and when I say this that means as we just said is if this is the vein the catheter is a foreign body and can induce thrombosis in patients who may have other problems that make them hypercoagulant. You form a clots around the catheter in the vein. And the main symptoms are usually swelling in the arm. You go ahead and do a venous ultrasound. And the main question is, do we have to remove the catheter or not and let me tell you this if the catheter is working I mean functioning in good position and the patient's symptoms are manageable we go ahead and treat with anticoagulation and keep the catheter in and watch symptoms as long as things improving then we can salvage the catheter now if it's not functioning if it's not working if it's not in good position if the symptoms are worse go ahead and remove it please and replace it with another one in another arm if you still need it remember do you still need it? That's the main thing. And if the catheter is in and you got thrombosis and you find that there is no need for a central line, just remove it and put peripheral IVs.